Hello, my name is Tina from Victoria Designs and today I have a really fun project for you and you will get all the printables for free. It is a booklet and this booklet holds tear of journal snippets. This would be an amazing addition to your journaling desk or an equally amazing gift for a journaling loving friend. In this tutorial I will show you completely how to make it and the most fun thing is all the printables that you need to make this project you can get for free if you opt in via the link in the description. So with a few extra supplies, you can make a bunch of these yourself. The designs I used in this project are from our teal and gold kit that will be available later this year in our shop. I will put the links under this video as soon as the kit comes out. And now let's craft. These are the three pages that you will get in this freebie. So this is the first page, which has the base and one of the panels. And on the back, I printed the back design. This is optional. If you just want to add some ink everywhere, it will be white. That's fine as well. And then on page two, I have here the rest of the panels. And then page three, I actually printed five times. I think you can even print them more. These are going to be all the snippets that you can tear off. I printed all of these on 160 grams paper. You can print more of these on lighter paper if you like. You can do what you want. You can even print them on vellum and make vellum tear off snippet thingies. The designs I used for this freebie are actually from our teal and gold kit. Depending on when you're watching this video, it might already be out or not. If you're one of the first, it will not be out yet, but it will be in the near future. And the first thing I am going to do now is just cut everything out. All these, these two, and then also all these, also separately. Okay, so you can cut all of these with your um, paper trimmer or with your scissors, of course. But in this case, to get everything a bit straight, this heavy duty paper trimmer is actually very handy. And you see, uh, I have here, See my foot here? <laughs> I have here a uh, container and then I can just drop my offcuts of paper in for recycling. I have here my trusted guillotine trimmer from Dala. It's a German brand, so I think it's pronounced Dala 561. I've had it for years and it's so handy to cut a lot of paper, so layers of paper. It can also handle thick chipboard, etc. So um, for me, this is a godsend because I cut a lot of paper. So I have here these five sheets on top of each other. I'm lining it out. And there, everything at once. And I can just keep doing that. I have to make sure that I keep everything nice on top of each other, of course. There, these are all cut, nice and tidy little stack here. I cut all the straight parts with my guillotine trimmer and these corners can be cut with a 10 millimeter corner punch or you can just cut by hand, of course. Same on these panels. And these decorative parts, you can just cut by hand. It's less easy to cut, but it's going to be more beautiful in the end. So just cut the round parts first. Skip these straight ones, you can do those later. That's easier. And again, the round parts here. This, and now you can very easily just straight go in there. And cut these out. Same with these ones. Before I'm going to assemble this base, which is done very quickly, I am going to ink the edges to uh, hide this white side of the paper. And also I'm going to add a bit of more interest on the inside here as well. I don't have a lot of ink colors here. 
I mainly use like vintage photo, like a brown color, sometimes black. But I have this speckled egg uh, color because I once saw it and I thought, oh, that's a pretty color. And actually it works pretty good here. You can also use a teal color if you have that. I'm working with what I have. Okay, I'm just going to quickly hide the white edges, but this is totally optional. So for the inside, I'm just going to add some extra ink here to make it a bit more interesting. And now I'm going to score these four scoring lines. Going to be as precise as possible. I'm always checking. I'm gonna fold this. It might feel a little bit flimsy right now. But when the panels are added, it will feel a lot more sturdy. Plus, also, uh, you can definitely print this uh, base in, three, uh, in 300 grams paper. That's about 110 pound cover. Um, if your printer can handle it. And now I'm going to add a ribbon here and here. So I'm going to find the center. Here and also going to add some double sided tape here just to attach the ribbon right on top. Make sure, don't put your tape, you can also use glue of course, that you don't put it over this colored border because most of that part will be showing so otherwise it'll, it'll get sticky. Same here. Here, Get this off, and I have here two pieces of ribbon that are about 14 inches. That's probably too much, but it was a leftover piece that I had, so I'm going to use this. And it can be wider ribbon. It's just this. I have this. <laughs> That's the reason. Okay, gluing it like this. Let's cut this off because. It'll do peekaboo otherwise. Okay, and now I can attach my panels. You can attach it with double sided tape, with glue, etc. I'm just going to use a glue stick because it's fast. And I'm gonna start with the back. This is the back. Here's my glue paper, which is more glue than paper, but I just keep using it there. And then this one will go on the outside of the flap. Just make sure you glue everything as centered as possible. No need to measure, train your eye. There we go. This one with the beautiful tree comes here. Okay, guys, I swear, two days ago, I finished one of these in one day. <laughs> I was crafting all day long, trying things out. I finished a whole glue stick in one day, like this size. Nice and center, very easy. Let's turn around and then this one will go here and this one will go right here. You go and the last one. Oh, so pretty. Okay, there you go. And now our cover is ready. Let's put this aside for a bit. And now let's make this tear off piece. 
I am going to create a sort of patterny thingy here. You can put them in an order as you like. I'm just going to make sure the designs are completely alternating so it's always a bit of a surprise what I'm going to be seeing. I'm going to put these on top here. This is going to be my first stash. So I made sure I stack these exactly the way that I want them to be. And now it's a bit of a fiddly but such an important step. I have here a piece of chipboard. The measurements will be on the screen right now because we're going to attach all these to this piece of chipboard. Now, you don't need a piece of chipboard like mine. It's one millimeter thick. It's just what I have. You can as easily use a thinner piece that's from a cereal box or something like that. Okay, now there's a bit of fiddling going on. You need a bunch of these to keep things in place. Okay, because it's very important that we line everything up perfectly. I am shaking, let me show you, I am shaking these pieces so that the top part will be super flush and I'm going to keep it I'm keeping my fingers very tight here I'm going to line this up with the corner see I'm already moving so I'm actually going to put this upside down and make sure that this is aligned the top is aligned especially the top should be aligned and when you're very happy you can put these in place. So make sure the top of that cardboard or chipboard or whatever board you have and all these sheets are like super flush. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same with the other four. This, feel it, nope. I usually need to do this a few times until I'm very sure that everything is lined. And then I'm going to put this right next to here. Again, making sure that this is all aligned, keeping very tight. And then when I'm happy, clip. Yes, I'm doing this pretty fast because I've been doing it for a long time already. So it could be that this will take a bit longer with you just have the patience it's so worth it that you have everything like super flush on top here okay there and then the last pile There, it took me a little one to get the last ones ready as well. So, <laughs> this is now very secure as you can see. Now, in theory, this piece should be six and three quarters of an inch wide, as, as wide as these four next to each other. But I know from experience that you're never going to cut everything perfectly. And in the end, everything will move a little bit. And as you can see, I used this whole uh, piece of chipboard and it's actually an eighth of an inch wider than it theoretically needed to be. Okay, enough with the theory. Let's turn this into a tarot thingy. Last time I used Mod Podge because I didn't have any um, bookbinding glue or PVA glue. And it works, but I advise to make a lot of thin layers, like at least four thin layers. And this time I actually have some bookbinding glue, which I actually prefer. So I'm very happy that I now have a bottle. I am going to remove one of these. That's why I also have the side clips. And I'm going to use my fingers front and back to keep pushing these together. I'm also going to need a little brush to spread this out, even though this um, bottle has a spread thingy. And I'm just going to squeeze out a little bit. Look, if it comes in a jar, just dip your, <laughs> dip your uh, brush into a jar. And now I'm going to the sexy lot, trying to get all the, the, the glue. This is a lot of glue, by the way. Uh, 
a little bit into this paper. That's why I'm going that direction first. And then wipe off the excess a few times if you need to. Okay. And then immediately put this back on. Then remove the next one. Keep it into place with your fingers as high as possible. And then I still have a bit on here, so I'm going to make these little movements here. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing, going that way and then brush it off. It's okay if there's a little bit of glue hanging over here because that's going to keep everything together. Okay, when I'm happy, back on. Third one, very tight, keep tight. I need more. Wipe off the excess, clip on, and then the last one, keep tight, add on glue. There. Okay, clip on and then let dry until touch dry. I know, it's not fun to wait, but <laughs> it's best that we do. Okay, so it's touch dry and I can add another layer. Yeah, I'm sorry, I already put on the second coat because I forgot to turn on the camera. So this is going to be my third layer and it's going to look exactly the same, to be honest. So. The good thing is everything already sticks together after the first layer, so I don't need to hold this very tight like I had to do the first time. And the layer of glue can be a lot thinner as well. And it's not opened enough there. And I feel like this bookbinding glue um, will attach the sheets together better than Mod Podge, but Mod Podge, as I said, will definitely work as well. But this feels a bit more sturdy. And the thing about bookbinding glue is it will keep being elastic even when it's dry. So that's why it's so great to use it for these tear-off thingies. Okay. So once you have your first coat done, this will go a lot faster. There, and I think I'm gonna keep it at three layers with this glue. You can definitely add a fourth one, if you like. And I'm going to let it try a little bit more before I'm going to glue this in here. Okay, it's not completely dry yet, but it's touch dry. So I'm going to remove these. By the way, this can dry further when I've already put it in the uh, cover. So you see some of the pieces of glue are still white. This will definitely dry clear. Now for the back, it doesn't matter if I spilled a bit of glue here because we're just going to glue this in. Now for this, I'm going to use stronger glue than just a glue stick, of course, because this needs to hold. Now, I want to position it this way, and I'm just going to glue this in the center. You can use also double-sided tape if you like. 
if it's strong enough. Okay, great. You can hold this for a bit or you can put a weight on it, of course. Okay, and when this is in there, you can also add, if you like, a little bit of extra glue all around this edge here. So I'm going to just put some on my woo, brush just for an extra layer. Go all the way across. Don't worry if you spill a bit of this uh, glue on your first top um, paper here. It will dry clear and it will only be on the first um, sheet. So no worries there. There. So that's optional, but you have this extra layer of security and then just leave it to dry. And now let's be honest. This is just an amazing gift for yourself or another journal enthusiast. Come on. Okay, here's one that I made earlier. It looks the same, but the glue is already super dry now. So that's better to show you. There. Look. And now you can just tear these off if you want. If you need one for your journal. Etc. Look how cute is this? I can just keep tearing until until we stop, you know, you can just keep going and you can just glue these into your journals, your scrapbook or use them for notes, etc. Yeah, I, I can just keep going. Tina, stop, stop. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really like this freebie and are curious to try it yourself. And of course, if you want these printables as well, just opt in via the link in the video description and the printables are yours to download. If you like it, please give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends who you think might like this as well. And now I wish you a beautiful crafty day. Bye bye.